Hello friends, this is Blessed Prince with you. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, how to create a simple applet application to uh, display a digital clock. Okay, for that uh, I'm going to use my NetBeans tool and uh, let me create a new project and I'll choose a Java application. Okay, and let me say applet animation. Okay, the project name and uh, I, I will not choose to create this main class okay by default it will be checked you can uncheck it because I'm not uh, because the applet uh, doesn't contain a main method so I uh, finish creating an application okay now here there is no source file now so let me right click I'll create a new applet and I will name this as a digital clock okay now I've created this project and here you can find this init method now which will be called when the applet is started okay so in order to um, print something on the, on the window okay so now I require a method called paint method okay so I'll override this method paint method okay so now so how will I get the current time current date to to print on this uh, so I can create a class sorry I can use the class that is a date class from the util package okay and I'm going to declare a reference variable of the date and from the paint method let me create the date object okay so I can say new date date object and I'm going to use this graphics method and we have a method called draw string okay so now here we can see the paint has one of the argument called you know a graphics okay which contain the graphics context or which describes the graphics environment in which the applet is running so I'll use that that graphics reference variable and I will you know, use the method draw string okay you can use this okay now draw string which takes a string so i'll print this day okay along with my x and uh, y values okay and here i am getting an error uh, so because the first argument is a string so i will convert this to string okay now let's try to run this file okay try to run this file wow good now here i've got the current time in my applet okay now let's uh, beautify you know we will change some uh, some background here and uh, one of the thing like I can use is I can I can say set background okay I can say some color let me let me choose blue okay I say like blue okay I choose the background color the same way the font is very small let me uh, you know create a, a font I can create a new font okay let me say font equal to new okay so in this in this font class of a double t okay let me create a new font okay font and i'm going to use this here you can see i can provide the name and the style and the size okay now i'll choose this and let me give the name as Arial and I can give okay the style so I can use okay maybe bold and uh, now here I can give the size let me say 50 this is going to be quite bigger okay now uh, here let me run the file okay right oh here Okay, now our uh, background is changed, but here you can see the font size is not applied. So now let me go here and I'll say my graphics. I can say set font. Okay, set font, and I choose this font. The same way, let let my my font is in black in color. So let me say some set color from here. Okay, let's leave 
set color and uh, let it be some white okay I'm choosing white okay so if I could run this file now uh, I've got okay well fine right so I can set the size of this window okay so that I no need to uh, resize it each time so let me say set size set size method where I can provide the width and height of the window so let me say some width is thousand and uh, height is some 300 that'll be good now so this will create a me um, a win an applet window where I can display the current time okay uh, with a uh, good font size and uh, display everything that's good now, now I need to run this as a digital clock I wanted to get the current timing okay now and then and I need to update it now how to do that okay how I'll be able to do that how I'll be able to do that okay now if you could see now here um, I so some of you may suggest that okay just run a loop okay some of you may suggest me just run a loop here from the pain method okay now if you run a loop what will be my condition okay right now so in that case you may say okay yeah just uh, indefinitely run a loop okay let me try with that okay what you can do here okay I'll say okay okay according to your suggestion let me say I'm indefinitely running this loop I each time I get a new date and I'll say draw time. Well, let, let us try to run this file yeah and see what's happening here okay and see what's happening here not only that let me try to resize this window or something can you see the applet is hanging the application is hanging okay right so so this is an uh, important problem okay here we cannot so now see now it is completely hanged I need to forcefully quit it quit the application okay now why because okay there is a fundamental architectural constraint here okay meaning the pain method actually once uh, done it should immediately return the control to the runtime system that is to the AWD so so in that case we are not supposed to create some looping construct inside the pain method okay so when when we uh, when we use the loop what happens is it prevents the control you know being uh, passed back to the AWT okay so if we wanted to update this uh, applet window okay so we are supposed to you know use the repaint method okay we are supposed to call the repaint method now what does the repaint method does the repaint method in turns it's going to call the update method and the update method in its it, it, in its default implementation it is going to call the pain method okay so so any any information so now you wanted to update to the current uh, current window okay or to the current applet okay now what we need to do is you call the repine method now the question is from where will I call the repine method okay right from where will I call the repine method and how will I update the time okay how will I update the current time okay so in that case now let me suggest okay so now we will okay we'll use some other method let's see okay so it is always it is always better okay whenever you wanted to run a long running process okay now say now here we wanted to uh, continuously uh, get the date and okay, go put it on this window okay so whenever we have something like this now we it's it's better to use a thread okay so because whenever a process takes a long time to run it is always suggested to go for a thread okay so that we can create a thread okay and this allows the process whatever you know to run on its own without affecting other parts of the program okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a thread for that let me uh, already as I am inheriting so let me implement the runnable method okay runnable method so and runnable method so 
like in that case i'm supposed to override the run method so let me say public void run method I'm going to override the run method okay now so from now how will i start the thread and where i will create the thread okay right so what i will do i have an applet lifecycle method called start okay so it is an applet method okay now here i'll create a new thread for this current object and i will say come on start the thread okay now start the thread is going to call the run method now what i'm going to do with this run method okay now here i am going to do this part okay so this part all right okay i have assigned the new data fine for how many times okay indefinitely i am going to get this okay so now here i have got the new up new information to be updated to the window okay so simply call refine from there okay so i will remove these things here okay okay so the information to be passed to the window and uh, i'm calling the refine method okay now let's try to run this file okay we got a digital clock so now even when i resize doesn't matter because a separate thread is taking care with this refine method okay fine so with this we have implemented a simple applet to run our digital clock hope you have enjoyed this video god bless you see you in the next video thanks you thanks for watching